Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes Yay. Where it is every Monday and Friday, the cast leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the Yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil their little party. All right, man. Okay, hey guys, Lim here, and welcome back to my GTA San Andreas Let's Play series. Uh, this is episode 20, so we've sort of hit a milestone, which is pretty awesome. And as you can tell, we just got a phone call from Caesar. He was giving us basically some information on the drug trafficking that Big Smoke is involved with. So, we've either got the choice to go to that little red arrow on the map and stop the drug trafficking, but that's sort of a side mission, and I'm not... 100% interested in that but as usual if you guys do want to see that sort of thing as a side mission I will upload it but yeah at the end of the day it's all about you if you want to see it I'll upload it and if you don't I won't it's pretty simple so leave comments below on if you want to see that sort of thing but for the moment I'm sticking with the main missions and I'm going to Caesar's mission so we're going to see what this is about man where is this guy Hey, I've been waiting forever, man. Where the hell you been? Sorry, Holmes. I had no idea when the race would be. Right. You just happened to show up five minutes after everybody else, huh? When the gasoline runs through your vein like the burning passion, you know when it's time to race. I think you're getting high on that country air, man. Hey, CJ, look. You haven't been to one of our meets before. Where are you from, friend? I'm from Grove Street Families, Los Santos. What's happening? Relax. This isn't a parade, pal. But you know, we gotta be careful. Wootsy Moon. But my friends call me Wootsy. How are you doing? CJ. Carl Johnson. Listen, out here we like to race for cash or pink slips. Race is choice. Get your car started. We're about to go. Good luck, Carl Johnson. something real strange about that dude. Be careful, CJ. For sure. Wootsy, was that how you pronounce his name? I, I didn't hear what he said. But, yeah, we're in another, I take it, illegal street race that Caesar, I don't know if Caesar set up, but he certainly let us know about it. And it's probably, it should be more challenging than the previous one we had back in Los Santos, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, that Wootsy guy, uh, by the looks of it, he's blind. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if CJ realised it or not because uh, he put his hand out to shake CJ, and it was sort of an awkward angle. So I'm not really. He's a bit weird. A bit. Uh, I don't know why some guy would turn up in a suit with a few bodyguards and a chick by his side, uh, you know, for an illegal street race. And he looks like a bit of a shady character. But this looks a bit of an easy race. How many checkpoints are there? Is there a way I can find out? I don't think so, it just says first out of four. It's only four races, it's not really much of a race, is it? Oh well, we'll carry on. So, this car we're in at the minute is a Buffalo, which is quite strange, because if you compare it to the uh, Buffalo and GTA 4, Buffalo and GTA 4 is, I think, pretty much modelled after sort of a Dodge Charger, one of a big Dodge Charger, uh, or, that's what I think it is anyway, but, oh shit, wherever we went to go, oh, oh fucking hell, Jigs of Hazard style, look at that, that's pretty awesome. Uh, oh shit, okay, reward $500, I've got to do more stunts I think, because you get $500 doesn't seem a lot, but with the amount of money I have it is sort of, I've got 27 grand at the minute, which is a lot than we started with, a lot more than we started with even, um, so, oh shit, bloody hell, is he in the race, he's going the fucking wrong way if he is, uh, this is more of a, quite a different race <laughs> compared to the, uh, Los Santos one, because Los Santos was more street race, this is countryside, we, I prefer sort of off-road racing, because it's sort of more interesting I think, street racing on the roads is, it's cool, but it's like, this off-road it's sort of more interesting, because there's more bumps and drifts and slides and jumps, and there's, there's a lot more, and all these little turns and cliffs and, oh, you know, when you fuck up like that, and you're like, oh, but, there, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity to, uh, skid out as you just saw but we're doing alright at the minute I don't know how far the other guys are behind I'm gonna take this little shortcut I don't need that to start at the minute and yeah it's pretty odd. I hope they have the uh, I'm sure they will but in GTA 5 that I'm 100% certain they're gonna have races because by the looks of the handling and in that gameplay video they showed it looked a lot more like a racing game which 
might be good for some, but for others it might be a bit dodgy. I would argue personally that this that GTA isn't a racing game, and a lot of the time you aren't actually racing. You're either you know in a getaway situation, just driving around for the hell of it for fun. And it'll be a bit weird to have driving uh, handling sort of control in the free run. But as you can see, we won that race. Five grand for winning. That's pretty awesome. A new best time. Uh, that's probably a pretty shit time because I span out halfway through. But we won. That's all I care about. Ooh, yeah. You drive with style, Carl Johnson. And I never mind losing to a guy who's willing to push himself right to the edge. As for me... I'm a man who honors his bet. Well, you learn pretty fast with the police on your ass. Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible, because for some reason, the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, thanks for the advice. OK, I got to go. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. Yeah, I might just do that. I guess that's our wake-up call. Nice meeting you. Okay, have we got to get away from the police, or no, it's just mission passed. That's pretty awesome. And considering there's another, I think this is another race straight behind us, we're going to get straight on with it. So that five grand is pretty good. Right, now we're on uh, $32,000, pretty much. Uh, we'll probably buy, I don't know, I don't know how much uh, houses cost in this game, or apartments or anything, so we'll stick with this, hopefully get a bit more money in this mission. Tenderness? Do you prefer the curves of some car to those of a real woman? Look, Catalina, you called it off, remember? Just business. What kind of a man are you? When I say just business, I mean that I love what you! What the fuck? When I say I know interested no more, I mean that I love wait. you! And hey, when I say wait, that Catalina, I miss you... Wait, wait! Leave my car alone! I did this for us, for me and you! It's too late! I don't love you no more. I love another, okay? What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. This Carl? This is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Huh? No, no, I, I can take rejection. You are jealous and a coward. Now let's race! Crazy bitch. Is that who I think it is? If it is, that's fucking awesome. Is that Claude from GTA 3? I'm pretty sure it is. So, is Catalina the... the uh, is that meant to be the woman from the beginning of GTA 3, the uh, bank robber woman, who I think you eventually, without spoiling anything for the end of GTA 3, which it will if you're listening, so beware, uh, at the end of GTA 3, you actually, I think, kill Catalina. So, if that's Claude, that is fucking awesome. Claude is the uh, silent protagonist of <laughs> GTA 3. He doesn't say a single fucking word throughout the entire game. And, funny enough, I uh, about a year ago, I got my iPad, and... I got, G I bought GTA, the uh, GTA 3 app for it, and it was, it's so awesome how they managed to get this entire GTA game onto your mobile device, or in my case, this I iPad, and it's sensational how they can fit, you know, the graphics look, for some reason, better than they do on the PS2 and, you know, the original consoles, it's really weird, but awesome, and... To see Claude in this game, it's, it's weird because you, he's actually met CJ, so it's sort of linking the characters. I always feel when the, the main characters of the two different GTA games, like for example in GTA 4 when that Diamonds mission where uh, Luis and uh, I think it's Johnny Klebitz and Nico are all involved in this one mission. And that's awesome, but it's weird to think that Claude is actually met CJ. It, it's weird, and uh, the GTA 3, back to the GTA 3 on the... 
the app. It's unbelievable. You think that was 10 years ago that GTA 3 came out, and uh, well, around 10 years ago. And you think in 10 years' time we could be seeing San Andreas on uh, a mobile app, but that'll be much harder, I think, because it's much a much bigger game. But you think in like 30 years' time we could be seeing GTA 5 on you know these little mobile devices. It's fucking weird to think how such powerful games can be sized down so massively. But back to this story that I I couldn't remember at all Claude was in this story. I if I'm if he's not Claude then that's weird because it's the same clothes, same hair. He might not look the same, but nor does Catalina. So I never could remember the name of that woman in the uh, GTA 3 story. So I take it that must be her. That's my guess anyway. So all of, all this time she has been a nutter as we know and we can see why she goes on to rob a bunch of fucking places and she ends, she ends up shooting Claude I think at the beginning of uh, GTA 3 that is a massive it's not really a turning point in the story I just think it's an awesome thing to have in San Andreas that's really weird but to think we're actually racing him it sort of shows that maybe Rockstar want us to see that San Andreas that CJ is better than Claude which I believe he is because it, it looks we came first so that's really weird. It's pretty awesome, though. Is there a cutscene here we've got to watch at the end of that? Juke had the unfair advantage. Being a better driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfying me. Fully. What are you going to say about that? Hmm. The advantage of a stick shift, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. I will. Fine. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss you. Goodbye. That is definitely Claude now. <laughs> the, the, if they're going to Liberty City, that is... I, I don't know when GTA is set in the 1980s, I think. And uh, GTA 3 was set modern 2000s, uh, noughties sort of time, I think. Don't get me wrong, but... So that's sort of maybe 20, 10, 20 years after. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, just before I end the video, I just want to sort of maybe talk about that. Oh, did I see true love there? Did I see true love? Oh, they were holding hands. I'm sure of it. Oh, that was that was cute. That was cute. Um, basically, seeing Claude in this game is bloody awesome. And it's sort of... It, it's sort of a weird feeling you get because you you never expect these characters to meet over separate games but they do it's really strange but I haven't got a mission so I'll take it I'm gonna have to get out of the car and have a phone call so I'm gonna do that I, I think that's what we gotta do before the end of the mission uh, try and get somewhere my, where I doesn't look like I'm in the middle of nowhere that is that them two are they together again I'm not sure uh phone call there we go what's happening Hey, Carl, dude, now I got the little mom out you're after. But be careful, man. People are listening to us. I got a little green village up in the hills. Come and get it. Whoa, man, I don't know you, I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller! Right, uh, <laughs> we just got a mission from the truth, so we'll head off and do that next episode. Uh, what I just wanted to say before I end it is that I think Catalina, we won't be seeing her again, thank fuck, because she is a pain in the ass, but... Uh, I think she gave us the keys to a garage in San Fierro, so it looks like we could be heading off to, I believe San Fierro is the second island on the left right there, so I, I believe we could be heading off there soon, I don't know how soon, but I'm just going to get this armour, as I randomly found it, that could be helpful, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, this has been a bit of a sort of flashback if so really, seeing Claude again, it was pretty awesome, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have an awesome day! Remember, feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page, where I'll be posting my latest videos, news and info on GTA, as well as other games. So again, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day!